On one side of the road, the trees seem lush and perfectly fine. On the other side, the leaves are struggling to grow because of the beech leaf disease. This is a common scene across the region. Thomas Worthley is a forest sustainability professor at the University of Connecticut. He says that both the beech bark disease and the beech leaf disease are killing the beech trees. However, the beech leaf disease is new to the area and is spreading rapidly. Well, beech bark disease has been around for a couple of decades. Beech leaf disease uh, in the last four or five years has been a big problem. Alexander Amendola is a forester at Kokoponset State Forest. He says that the spread has been extremely rapid and trying to find an asymptomatic beech tree is impossible. It's, it's tough. Uh, unfortunately, the implications for our forests are not too great. We have a very high percentage of beech in a lot of our forests, especially in the, the central and the northern part of our state forests. Many of the trees we were standing next to were infected with the disease. The leaves were wrinkled and curled up at the start of the growing season. Worthley says infected trees are expected to die within 10 years. Virtually every beech tree in the state is in fact is impacted by beech leaf disease at this point in time. Beech leaf disease was first discovered in Ohio in 2012. While the exact origins are still being looked into, some scientists speculate that it may originate from Japan. Worthley has some advice for homeowners who have beech trees on their property. Uh, think about growing something different where you have it, beach problems and uh, the beach could maybe become your firewood supply. You know, uh, look at uh, uh, trying to cultivate something different. In, in my case, uh, uh, I try to encourage white oak as much as possible as a good substitute for, for the beach. Mandola says they are experimenting with different ideas to help with the issue. We're hoping to find some that are resistant or at least appear to be resistant to the symptoms of the disease and we're trying to uh, encourage their growth in some areas where they're in bad shape or maybe dead already as a result of this disease. Experts say the disease does not pose a threat to humans. In Chester, Deshaun Robinson, Fox 61.